Hi everyone, Alex with Be Meet Up here. Today I'm going to show you how to draw ductwork in Revit. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to start by importing some diffusers. We're going to place them in our RCP. We're going to specify their flow in CFM. Then we're going to start creating some hard ductwork, rectangular ductwork. Then we're going to create some round, flexible ductwork and uh, finally we're going to add some balancing dampers to regulate all that. See you in Revit. First thing we're going to do as always is open up our project. This is an HVAC project. If you don't know how to create an HVAC project I encourage you to go and check it out. Uh, the video link is in the description below. But in this project, we have already linked our architectural model, and uh, you know we created our levels and our RCP. So I, go ahead and check it out. The video is really nice. Link in the description. But for this one, first thing we need to do is we need to create an HVAC system. We're going to do a supply system. So let's go ahead and um, actually I'm on the on level 2 RCP. The reason why I chose level 2 RCP is because on level 1 we don't have any reflected ceiling plan. This is exposed so I figured it would be nicer to um, you know learn how to deal with diffusers and, and ductwork with an actual ACT grid, acoustical ceiling tile grid. So let's go ahead and bring in some of the diffusers. Uh, the families that we're going to use in, in this tutorial are out-of-the-box Revit families. So, happy birthday. Uh, you don't have to be browsing around for weird families. It's all out-of-the-box. So, let's go ahead and load up a, a diffuser first. So, we go to insert. We go to load family. And then uh, I'm under US Imperial because I'm in the United States. Um, then you go into mechanical, a MEP, then air side component, and then we're going to go into air terminals, and we're looking for diffuser, a supply diffuser, so it would be maybe this one here, supply diffuser, a rectangular face, right? And I want it to be round neck because I'll most likely be connecting a flexible round duct to it. And the reason I like this family way better than the hosted, even though that the hosted one hosts to the ceiling itself and it moves with the ceiling, but that 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 can be a little dangerous. Anyway, it's pretty easy to use any of them. So let's just pick this one up and we're loading into our project and now we have it loaded. So let's go ahead and place one in the model. You can either go here to air terminal or you can also be like under the architecture. If you go component, the last thing that you're loading is the last uh, family that you imported. So you can also do that. Anyway, I'm going to select uh, 24 by 24 with a six inch neck and uh, my offset is going to be let's say eight feet and right now I'm just going to eyeball it you know I'm going to do um, let's say I'm going to place it like around here and I'm not doing this perfect I do it like this on purpose because then what I do is I hit a line and then I select this and then I do a line and there we go and if you're not sure on on your diffuser elevation you can always tag your ceiling and that would give you the elevation or you can cut a section through it a quick section and you actually let's do that you know you go like this and then just open it up and then you would measure you know from the top of slab to your ceiling and it's eight feet and we can see that we have our diffuser there it's perfectly placed so we have one here. Um, let's uh, let's copy it, um, a couple of those. Let's say 16 feet, for example, 
and then I'm gonna select these two and I'm gonna copy it over uh, say 12 feet and then let's say I have another row somewhere around here and now I'm gonna move this say from here to here and now we need to assign some CFM to each of our diffusers so for that you would have to go to your code typically ASHRAE 62.1 or if you're dealing with you know healthcare facilities you do something else anyway for this uh, particular example we have by default 500 CFM let's say here I don't need that much let's say I just need uh, 300 CFM right and then uh, Let's say for each one of these, since these are in the same room, I have 300, I mean 300. So we have 300 CFM for each one of these four diffusers and, and let's say these two guys here, uh, since I only have two, let's say they need uh, 400, right? So now let's start, uh, you know, creating some ductwork. So let me get rid of this section, although it could become useful, ah, we can create it whenever we want. So let's just go to systems and then you go duct and I'm going to do rectangular duct. I'm going to keep it 12 by 12 for now, it doesn't really matter. And for my offset, I'm going to say that's fine, 9, actually let's do 10 feet to give us a little bit more space, right? And um, I'm just going to do the main trunk like this and now notice that I cannot see anything so let's try to go ahead and find out what's going on why can we not see our duct uh, I know we, we we have it right so let's open up a 3d view so there's our, our duct uh, so let's cut a section right to see what's going on open it up and there's our duct let's change this to fine but if you see what happened was that we, we were on level 2 remember we were on, on the ceiling of level 2 and it turns out that when I drew my duct I had as referenced level level 1 so we definitely want to change that right to level 2 and we want our offset to be uh, 10 feet we set and we're a little bit close to the it seems like we're okay so now we can see our dock work so let's take this guy center it a little bit right doesn't have to be perfect for now you can always change it later on and now what we want to do is a couple of takeoffs right and feed our diffusers so you can do create similar and then just change this to um, we want to do round duct All right and what happened now is that I didn't inherit elevation so if you go to the 3d view it had the latest elevation that I had by default so it created that drop we don't want to do that so instead of that what you do is you so now let's stop out of this trunk you know with some takeoffs and uh, we'll create some flex duct work and then we'll put a, a balancing damper in each one of those and then we'll start sizing so let's do create similar and then we go here to tabs and remember our ductwork was reference to level 2 and we had an offset of 10 feet so and then we want 6 inches for now we'll resize is if, if necessary later on okay so you can do create similar and you do the same thing 
for this one and you repeat that one more time here let's do that one and then we do this one and finally we do this one here if you want to align it you can align it if not you just have the flex here it doesn't really matter uh, so now our next step would be uh, creating our flex stock work right and connecting to it so I'm gonna just give myself a little more space so I can place the manual volume damper here and now I'm gonna create a flex duct and I'm gonna connect it to my diffuser notice that the diffuser turned blue that means that our system is connecting well so let's do the same thing here Mm hmm there you go now let me give me a little bit more space here for my damper another flex duct going in here now the last two again a little bit space it's always better to have a little bit more space than you need and then you shrink as required if not uh, you know rather gets a little silly there you go and then our last one flex duct boom so now we have everything connected uh, you know that because everything turned blue but you could also tap select here and then you see that everything's being selected okay so now let's start sizing actually no let's uh, bring in our, our manual volume damper and if you are serious about your professional training go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com over there we offer professional training and coaching in mechanical electrical plumbing and fire protection and we can also train you in Autodesk services like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. So head over there or contact us directly and let us know how we can help you at BIMITUP.com. So for that again, we're going to insert. Now load family. Let's get out of here. We go all the way up to Imperial. Duct. Accessories. We want to go to dampers and then this is going to be a balancing damper round okay so here it is now let's just place the component and that's uh that's a six inch but you don't have to select it here it uh, automatically will flex to the size of the duct which is nice so let's uh, place one of those in each of our ducts see what I mean now, now I'm pretty tight let's see if it lets me I got lucky there okay so now we are ready to size I think we're gonna leave that for the next video so, so it doesn't get too long so see you in the next video okay and if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it down there subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you get notifications thank you for watching and see you on the next video